What's going on guys? Dave here at the Reef Aquarium Shop in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm doing a little experiment and I want you to join me. Okay, so we've done some remodeling in our offices and my office was one of those front doors. So I finally have a little, I guess, fish tank. <laughs> what I'm calling it is a micro pond. That's what I'm sticking with. It's, um, uh, it is what it is. Let me show it to you. I have this small little pond form. It's only about like six or eight gallons. I used it to house my beta, if you remember him from the Cobalt Giveaway series. He needed a place to go after we did the remodel, so I found this little uh, micro pond form and set it up for him. We've got a little light hanging out above it that I am going to upgrade to a more plant-specific light. And as you can see right now, this is a dead man mangrove. This is a failed experiment here. So. What I have here is, again, there's my pond form. I've got a, a just a regular sand substrate as the base, but then in this little pot here, this is actually just a pond pot. It's uh, a mesh on the side here. I'll lift it up so you can see, uh, but it's just a mesh basket. Uh, and what I've done is I've filled the bottom end with a layer of this gravel here, and the entire center is filled with Flora Depot, which is a planted substrate. And it's uh, actually something that you're supposed to put under other substrate. So we are going to do a little remodel on this and see what we can't get going. I got a box of plants from the shop. We were breaking down our pond section, so I picked a couple of plants from there and out of our house plant section and we're going to spruce this up see how it looks and then see how it goes in the long run i also need a name for my beta in here it is a solid black placat beta and uh it's got some blue streaks on his fins of course you can't see him here i had to pick a black beta right <laughs> uh and put him in a a black container you know you know it's fine. As you can see, I've got some Anubius left over from that uh, cobalt build. I even have one little piece of buse hanging out down there. I think I'm going to leave all of those there where they are. I got some plants from the shop. Let's go check them out. All right, so this is the box of plants I have going into the micro pond. We've got some Marble Queen pothos. I'm really excited about this bog lily. This is, what was it called? Uh, the Menhewn Bog Lily, and it's supposed to pop out some pink flowers if I'm successful with this. So, that will be my end goal, is to get this Bog Lily to flower in my setup. I'm gonna also have this Pothos spilling out over the edge, uh, and maybe around the base of this Bog Lily. If I can, uh, we'll see if I can pull it off, uh, get some of this ivy, potentially some of this fern going. Uh, we'll see. We're going to get all this out and start playing with it. I'm going to clean up the roots and get them down to just the plant. And then we're going to stick them in the micro pond and see how they look and yeah, go from there. Check it out, all cleaned up. Let's go get him in the micro pond. Okay, first things first, let's set these in my window here. And we are going to remove this dead mangrove. Ah, wasn't too difficult there. Yeah, one root, one rotting root. It's done. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the bog lily. Now, this came to me in one pot. This is originally a pond plant, so I wasn't too worried about the substrate not being friendly for fish, but when I pulled it out of that pot, it stunk like a bog, so I really rinsed it out well. Uh, you can see 
This is a super healthy specimen, has got this big old mother plant here, and then has just kicked out a ton of little babies. Um, they are all just bound together really tight, so I'm actually just going to leave them as is, and I think that's going to, I mean, it's gonna fill that up anyway, um, and I am still trying to stick a few things in here. <laughs> betas running around already trying to see what's going on so uh let's uh let's go ahead and bury these roots into this container all right i moved the plants out of the bowl we're going to place the pot into the bowl and then we're going to place all the plants uh, a lot of the plants into the pot and see how it goes all right let's do it i'm watering my plant Okay, we now have our pot out of the micropod. It is time to get the plants in. So first I'm going to try to dig out a little space. I want to try to keep as much of this substrate as possible. I know I'm going to have to pull some of it out, uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to need to dig out a little more here. All right. Let's see if that's big enough. Yeah, this should do this. All right. I'm gonna put these ferns in next. Now we're gonna do the ivy. And there's the majority of the plants that I'm sticking in here. This is the pothos. I do have a couple little baby sprigs here that I'm going to kind of stick into the pot and get them going. I'll probably end up pulling them out later so it doesn't get too, too thick. Alright, now it's time for the pothos. Tell you one thing for sure, the beta is loving this. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, my micro pond with a super happy beta hanging out in there. He is loving this upgrade. Got a lot more to hang out in and check out. Oh, looks like I forgot one. Cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new and improved micro pond in my office. I will give you semi-frequent updates to show you how this is doing. Uh, and every Monday we will be going live and you'll be able to see this in the background of our live videos on Mondays. Hopefully this bog lily will flower for me at some point. That would be great. Might not happen till spring, but if I upgrade this light, this is just a uh, standard little Reno. It's not meant to do anything really but light your tank. <laughs> so. I picked hopefully some lower light plants. Again, this bog lily is probably gonna need some more light. I'm gonna upgrade this soon, but for now, we're gonna call this part of our project done. Let me know in the comments what you think about it or if you have any ideas on what I should do in this micro pond in addition to what I'm already doing Please let me know. If you enjoyed watching me start this project, let me know by living by living. Let me know by living. If you enjoyed watching me start this project, let me know by liking this video here. Also, subscribe for more content and be sure to hit that bell icon. Let you know every time we post new content and every time we go live. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.